This episode is brought to you by our friends at Hover, the easiest way to buy domain names and do more with them. Get 10% off today by visiting hover.com slash on deck. Welcome to On Deck, I'm Matt Harris, and right now we just got out of the Nintendo E3 press conference. That was really cool, wasn't it? That was pretty it? cool, yeah. yeah. I've never been to anything like that before, and I'll just describe it for you folks who haven't. There's a big room here at the uh, Nokia Theater, yep. and I have my camera, and there's tons of journalists everywhere. I'm guessing there are probably 10,000 people, to guess, 5,000 maybe, it's hard to say. I wouldn't want to put a figure on it, but yeah. Well, I just it, did, so. it, <laughs> I wouldn't want to put a figure on it because I don't even know what it would be. But yeah, we were there. Like I said, lots of press, really fun, and a few announcements from Nintendo. Yep, a few announcements. So we saw kind of the kick, the kicker to the whole press conference was the 3DS, which was announced a while back. Of course, kind of leaked. Um, yeah. But you know, now they actually have a kind of a cohesive strategy. We're going to be able to play it on the show floor. I know you actually got a chance to touch it. What happened to me? I, I should just tell you this. I went to the bathroom and I could, they wouldn't let me back in my seat. I ended up this in the guy fourth floor comes mezzanine. All the way from Toronto, the biggest announcement from Nintendo, and three minutes before they do it. He has to go to the bathroom, and alas, I have a nervous I, bladder. I got a hands-on. It was really cool. I'll tell you this: I have some footage of it, and uh, the thing that was crappy for me was I'm doing it all handheld. Yes. And it was the la- of course it was the last announcement, so right. my camera work started getting a little bit like That's this. That's okay. But some stuff I do have. But yeah, so yeah, my, my impression very cool. I like the 3D. I didn't really get too much hands-on because there's so many people, but I saw it, and it does work. It's a 3D experience without the glasses, That's which I thought cool. was cool. Well, I think the uh, the fact that they announced some movie studios. They didn't announce any specific movies, but they right. announced some movie studios that are signing on. And if you think about the 3D landscape, um, what we're seeing is, and I mean, is what Reggie Fiamme said: uh, 3D glasses. You have to have 3D glasses for everything. I mean, it, you know, it's from the 1940s up to today. The glasses are always the thing that you just have to wear a pair of glasses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole the whole kicker here is that there's no glasses involved. Obviously, it's a one-person viewing mm-hmm. experience, but I mean, really, like 3D without glasses. And the other thing uh, was cool is it has two cameras in the front as yeah. well, so you can take your own 3D photos. Yep. So when next time when we take a picture of our tripod setup, if we have a Nintendo 3D, uh, 3DS? 3DS, yep. Yeah. Well, it'll be in 3D? For us, but not for, for us. anyone well, not else. For us. Shut up, man. You're oh, ruining sorry, my sorry, plan. Sorry. Uh, some other stuff I was excited about. I'm, I'm a guy who used to play Goldeneye all the time. Yes. It's now coming to the Wii. Yes, it is. That was coming in. Let me see Look here. Look at this guy checking his cheat sheet. This holiday. They this didn't holiday, say specific. yeah. The weird thing is, though, that's Activision. It's not Rare. Rare is the company that originally made Goldeneye. Oh, really? Okay. And now it's Activision doing it. So I thought that was a little strange, but we'll see what happens. I don't know that much about the game. I just know, like, those late Friday cool. nights playing with multiplayers and maybe a few beverages. Yes, absolutely. Uh, so as, as Andrew mentioned, we're going to actually have a hands-on uh, experience with the Nintendo 3DS. Uh, we have an appointment later on this afternoon, so we'll definitely shoot a whole episode, an at, and we'll put that on uh, butterscotch.com. Yep. Anything else to yeah. add from your experience? Let me just run through really quickly what they announced. So they announced Disney, Disney Epic Mickey, which is coming August 31st. Or sorry, that's coming later this year. Metroid Other M coming August 31st. Uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns this holiday season. Golden Sun Dark Dawn, which is a uh, DS game. I'm trying to make out my notes here. It's okay, really fair hard enough. To, fair it's really enough. hard to scribble notes yeah. in the dark. You know what we'll uh, do? We'll take a picture of that just to prove right. how crappy your notes are. Fair enough. So Golden Sun Dark Dawn this holiday season. Uh, they announced uh, a new Mario um, sports game, Mario Sports Mix, coming in 2011. They announced a new Zelda game also coming in 2011. That looks really sweet. You're a big Zelda fan, aren't you? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, that's yeah. like one of my favorite games of all time. And then, of course, the uh, 3DS right. and the launch title looks like it's going to be Kid Icarus. Yes. Kid Icarus is from way back in the 8-bit Nintendo days. Um, you know, the, the crowd kind of erupted when they announced Kid Icarus. I was never that attached to it, but hey, well, you know, it could be cool. Did you mention Kirby? Uh, no, I didn't. I, that's when I was in the bathroom. <laughs> there you go. There's also a new Kirby game. Yes. After seven years of no Kirby. Do you remember when it's coming? Dude, I'm the camera guy. Sorry. I can't. T- I'm okay. not taking scribbly notes. All right. Well, the, the thing is, we're, like you said, we're, our next appointment is actually with Nintendo. Right. We're going to get uh, hands-on with all this stuff. We're, you know, probably shoot a couple ads, a few ads. Um, you know, break it up by game title. Yeah. It should be pretty cool. All right. Well, let's get to it. I got to get back to the hotel room and edit this episode of On Deck. Uh, for everything we've spoken about, please go to butterscotch.com and check out our continued coverage of E3 at the aforementioned butterscotch.com. For Andrew Moore Crispin, I'm Matt Harris. I'll see you soon. This episode is brought to you by our friends at Hover, the easiest way to buy domain names and do more with them. Get 10% off today by visiting hover.com slash on deck.